Hello everybody. Uh, today I wanted to write a review about a product from a company called Delmon, Delmon Varone, which I always say wrong, Delmon Varone, uh, which is a German company which has made leather products including ring bound uh, organizers and folders for many years, but for some reason seems to be below the radar for a lot of purchasers. I haven't found any video reviews at all for its products. I have found, found very few reviews uh, online at all about it, even in German. Uh, so I want to uh, have a quick look at uh, the product I bought, which is an A5 uh, zipped uh, folder, which I want to use to store some of my notes, which need uh, somewhere to live for more than a couple of days. And uh, also, uh, it seemed to be a good, a lot of the things I decided I needed to say actually would be quite relevant to you or might be quite relevant to you. In any case, whether for whatever thing you're looking to purchase, whichever type of folder or organizer, uh, there's actually quite a lot of stuff which is relevant in this review, which you might find relevant in this review uh, for uh, your purchase decision. So uh, I will write a lot of um, timings and uh, links in the comments field below and then maybe you'll find this useful even if you're not interested in a A5 zipped uh, folio from Delmon Ferroni. So anyway, um, whenever, uh, whatever I say about this product, um, do bear in mind that it is a relatively cheap product. So even if I'm quite critical at times, uh, you get what you pay for. It's a good deal cheaper than a lot of products in its range. So this cost me 79 euros. Uh, this is an A5 zipped uh, organizer. If you, this is quite comparable to, for example, a Filofax Lockwood A5 zipped organizer, although the Lockwood has two external pockets but the Lockwood costs 160, so that's just over twice the price. So even when I'm being quite critical, please always bear in mind, this is actually not an expensive product. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit cheaper in some respects, in terms of its workmanship and so on, than a high level product. And we find, I find errors in more expensive products as well. So, um, yeah, bear that in mind in the, in the comments. I make that it's not always intended to be negative uh, in relation to its price range. So let's describe it first of all. So this is an A5 um, uh, zit, as you can see. Uh, nothing on the outside except Cambridge, which I'll get to later because that makes little sense. And also a personalization of my initials, which was free and included in the price. Its general build is okay. You don't get the impression it's cheaply made. It seems fine. It's a lovely, uh, smooth and consistently colored leather. The zip is good quality. And then the inside we have uh, a single leather sheet on this side with uh, slits for pockets, not layered pockets, but slits, we'll get into that later. But behind, of course, these are lined, so they don't just, you don't just disappear into, a, into a, a hole. These are actually lined so that they all have a bottom to them. You, we also have a, one of these mesh windows here. I've never quite understood the purpose of these because once you put something inside it, you can't see it very well because of the mesh it's behind. And this particular one is so big, it's just sort of, you know, the, 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 the product, the, anything you put in there just disappears behind um, the other slots. So that not particularly well designed in that respect. Um, we have a zipped pocket here. Two pen loops, ten, two pen loops in the middle, which are fairly well placed, not on the outside, no, no need because of the way the rings have been designed. We have this moire lining. We have a ring designer flap. 
we have D rings which are offset from the center and then included is also a memo pad which sits in the uh, in a slit in this back um, back side of the uh, of the product so let me start off if I can with the with the positive stuff first of all the price positive 79 euros including personalization pretty good uh, I like the moiré uh, pattern lining it's a shame it disappears mostly underneath here so you can't see it a lot and they haven't extended it beyond here presumably because it would get in the way of the need to sew the zip here but it would have been quite nice if they had extended it to here so that you actually didn't just have this stripe this moiré pattern reminds me of uh, a writing uh, folder that my father had when I was young so that was 50 years ago which um, ha also had this lining so I think that's quite nice um, let me see personalization was free I've mentioned the quality is decent um, I did like in this company the fact that they sent this in, in a environmentally responsible packaging I get quite annoyed when I, re I receive stuff from uh, from companies which is a a box inside a box inside a package inside a box inside a packet inside a box very annoying completely unnecessary and i know that some people really enjoy this sort of luxury packaging i think people should take more responsibility and so should uh, manufacturers and this manufacturer provides the product inside a paper sheath like this with their logo on there uh, this this product was also within a plastic bag which is unfortunate uh, I also bought from them a journalist notebook bear with me while I find it I can't find it here it is uh, a journalist notebook also from them and this came in just a paper wrapping and this is very good I'm, I have I'm, I'm, I like the fact that they have gone for environmentally friendly um, packaging so that's a plus point for me um, d-shaped rings for me are an advantage why are they advantage so let me just show you the the, the, the rings are d-shaped back to front d so that this side where your um, paper would sit when you're working is straight so it's a backward d uh, d if you look at it from the other side <clears throat> what's the purpose of that well I tried to find an example of what happens normally I just found a book here so if you have a normal normal paper which is on a normal ring and this is just a normal book you can see that if you have a curve here that the outside the outside uh, paper is also curves around so it's simply um, a preference if you put paper on these D rings they are perfectly flat so you have a perfect side they're always um, uh, it's, it's always a straight side you don't have this curve around that goes around with the ring that's a personal preference they're quite common in German Germany less common elsewhere in my experience another thing I like is the fact that the rings are offset so normally in um, folders or organizers the ring is put into the spine exactly in the middle the disadvantage of that is that when you close the product the paper moves so if I take this this is a Filofax Metropole and it's the same size as the product here I am assessing and you have here as you can see here the rings are in the middle here the rings are offset to the right uh, when you close a product which has rings in the middle you'll notice that the contents move to the right because they move around the ring and start to push around so you can see this pushing towards the side now that means that when when people design this they have to take into account the fact that when you close it everything shifts in this product if I put something on the ring let me just put something on these rings 
when I close, you see the paper does not move at all. There is no, no movement whatsoever. It sees exactly where it is. Now this makes design, of course, a little bit easier because my experience has been that some people have designed uh, their products so that they haven't taken into account the movement of the paper. And they have, for example, put a pen loop here. And then as the paper moves, of course, it scrunches up against the pen loop and that causes problems. Uh, with a product like this, the paper stays exactly where it is. Um, no problems with that. If you put a pen loop here, you'll know it's never going to get in the way of the paper. But that's a personal preference. As I said, these offset rings, I have also seen mostly in German products. I've seen in chrono plan, planners, for example, not common elsewhere as far as I know. And then another thing I like uh, here is that the back, the back panel here is perfectly flat. So when you're writing, there are no ribs, there's no um, uh, little lumps and bumps, there's no folders, there's no secretarial pocket, there's nothing here to stop you writing perfectly flat, and that includes the slit here. It's quite smooth. If you put the memo black block in, it also provides a pretty good flat surface to write on. So this is this is practically better than products where there is a lump in the back here which means you'd have to put something between you and the writing surface so that you're not um, or you'd always have to take your paper out right put it back in uh, so that means that uh, th this for me is, is my preference so that's the positive we have some negative first of all um, it's a german product uh, I have to say the, the website they have claims to, to have a German to in, uh, have an English version, but the, it hasn't been set up correctly. So if you don't speak German, you're going to have to have a bit of guesswork to make an order on their website. Um, it is made absolutely for right-handed people. So everything, the offset, the flap, the smooth part here, everything is made for somebody who's going to write, write on the right-hand side. If you're going to try and write on the left hand side everything is against you uh, everything's in the way everything is lumpy it doesn't it's not going to work so if you're not right-handed these offset ring systems are really not for you unless it's offset to the left of course which i've never actually seen um, they have slightly confused branding as a company so their their, their name is called delmon Del verone and if I grab again, if I can find it, this journalist notebook that I bought, you'll see this is their branding, Del Mon Verone, which is fine. That's branded there. And if you look at the memo book here, Del Mon Verone. However, elsewhere, this product has no Del Mon Verone branding. So on the zips, the branding is Cambridge, which is how they actually name do you see that what am I I'm holding it upside down sorry whoops so this one you see it says Cambridge made in Germany now they sell this on the website as being Cambridge leather uh, but for some reason they've included Cambridge and also if you look at the back you see here it says Cambridge can, just, can we see that? It says Cambridge. It doesn't say Delmon Verone. So I, I don't know why their, their branding is a little confusing. Not a big deal, but it's just something you notice. Um, another disadvantage of this possibly, or something to, to be aware of, is, the, is these slits for pockets. Now this is a, a, a difference in some products to others and this is quite an interesting this is something to, to bear in mind when you're purchasing um, the advantage of having one sheet of leather which has slits in it is is that you have a lighter product because you're only using one set of leather it's less bulky um, and it's cheaper uh, the disadvantage is a number for, for when you when you have a product like this this is the lockwood when you have a product like the lockwood you'll see that the um 
The pockets are an extra piece of leather which are sewn onto the piece of leather underneath. And because it's an extra piece of leather, you can hem and sew the top so that you give it strength. And because it's an extra piece of wet leather, this whole thing feels more luxurious. It feels bulkier, heavier. Um, it, it feels a little bit more uh, yeah, luxurious. Okay, now if you just have a slit, then you you do you you do not or cannot hem it, so you can't turn it over, you can't sew it, you can sew it, but it doesn't make any difference. And the effect that has is it feels flimsier. So the leather, the thickness of the leather here and the leather here is no difference, but because this has been hemmed and turned, it feels thicker. This doesn't feel thicker and it feels like it could rip especially this one here this feels very papery and it feels like if, if i catch this on something if i could actually almost rip this away as if it's paper um, and of, because it's not stitched this could stretch more with use so it's generally a low a lower um, quality product when you only have slits rather than extra um, extra leather but of course it, it makes a difference in the price and it makes a difference in the uh, size and the weight and the lumpiness because this is not lumpy a slit is not lumpy this if you're leaning this if you're leaning on this to work is lumpy so when you have something like this at the back when you write on it, you're going to have a lump, which you won't have when there's just a split, uh, yeah, a slit. Okay, this ring defender. Um, they, these ring defenders are designed to stop your product, stop the rings from marking your product here. So if I take another example, so this is an A5 Carpe Diem. This does not have ring defenders and you can see very easily how the rings have marked the leather. Okay, now these, these ring defenders are designed to prevent that from happening. So they wrap around the rings and stop them from, so that this, if, if there's any marking, this would be on the ring defender and not on this product. Now considering that this is nothing special here, just a piece of thin leather. I don't see any reason why we should be trying to protect it. Actually, this piece of leather is the best quality leather of the whole product. And um, I've always found myself that scratching and staining and denting, this is all part of a product being used. And I don't see a reason why we should, I, I personally, I don't have a problem with any marks being created within the uh, within the product, within the folder. So to me, it's super, superfluous. I also, because this is something you find in very expensive organizers, but not in cheaper ones, I find it an affectation. I, it's, to me, it's not necessary. It's just make, it's trying to make the product look more expensive than it is. Fine, part of their marketing, perhaps. I think, personally, I would have dropped this. I might even try and get rid of this myself because it gets in the way. Now it gets in the way, it's not practical. So if I'm, have my product here, I'm writing, that's fine, everything's working on this side, but if I try to put my page over, it sits on top of this flap. If I put it down there, it sticks up. If I, I'd have to try and train this flap to go flat and even then, I'm, all I'm doing is creating a lumpy surface underneath this for this paper to become um, deformed upon. So I think this is just, it's not only in this case uh, affectatious, it's also in this case uh, impractical. I would rather that the, I could put the pages down so that they lay flat on that side so I can get on this side. I don't want them sticking up in the air like this. Um, and 
On this product also, you'll notice that there is no top and bottom opening for this ring um, mechanism. So again, if I could take, go back to this carpe diem, you'll see we have these things top and bottom. You press these, it opens the rings, and then you can push the rings closed. Opens the rings, push the rings closed. Now this is, this is designed so that if you, when you're pulling these apart, eventually if you do that a million times, it never happens to me, but if you do that a lot, um, you will eventually end up with a little gap between the rings, and then you have to uh, get them mended or replace the uh, mechanism. Uh, this D-ring does not have them. So in this particular case, to open and close, you have to pull the rings apart, which upsets a lot of people I know. Um, and then the ring spacing is a rather annoying European A5 Euro time, 45 millimeter, 60 millimeter, 45 millimeter spacing. Again, this is appears in some products, German products, other European products. You don't come across it very often. It does mean that this is not exactly compatible with products such as file effects. So, I think again, this file effects um, Metropole, we have the three space three. Um, how can I do it? There we go. So you can see the difference. And unfortunately, it's not a case that the, these two rings match these two rings. So what actually happens, what you actually have to do, um, what these, so these three rings here are file effects rings, these three rings are file effects rings. What I had to do is add a ring, a few millimeters bottom of this and a few millimeters the bottom of this, and then it will fit in. Uh, there are better ways of doing this. Steve Morton from Filofaxi uh, has a way of doing this, which is slightly fiddlier, but means that the paper is better centered. I'll put a link below. Um, but this um, will work for me. That means you can take the paper backwards and forwards, but it does mean you always have to add this extra hole, um, which is frustrating. I mean, there are thousands of different, well, hundreds, tens of different whole spacings around, and it would be great if they could get their act together and all use the same one, but that's never going to happen. So um, that's something to be aware of. When you make a purchase, try and make sure that uh, you can live with any differences there are to the uh, formatting. And this, of course, does mean that you might have problems if you buy your inserts. I make my own, but if you buy your inserts, you may find that they're not so easy to get. So that's something also to bear in mind. You'd have to, you'd be limited in the number of suppliers because of the way the rings are spaced, or you'd have to add rings, uh, sorry, holes yourself to fit them in. Um, next thing that concerned me a little bit with this was the color. Um, I know that leather is a natural product. There are variations in it. There are blemishes. I understand that. No problem. If you look on the website for this product, the color that the product is advertised as being is approximately. Now I have to. Now here we are. Is something like this. Uh, this is old and dirty, but this shows you that this is. Uh, it's a sort of quite shiny, uh, full, dark orange color. And this is the color you see on the website. Now, when I purchased the, the this, this is supposed to be, this journalist notebook is supposed to be the same color. And the A5 here is again supposed to be the same color. Now you can see this is an enormous difference in my eyes in color. Um, I have, I, I, although, you can expect some variation in color. This is a bigger variation than I've ever come across before with any other supplier. And to me, it's not right. It's just too much. So be aware that there is a large variation in the possible color that you could receive if you order this product. This, this product, I can understand. This is close enough. This isn't. 
And then finally, although I did say it's generally fair enough, you know, the build is fine. I don't, you don't see anything immediately problem with it. There are some small, uh, there's, there's small ways in which it's been created, manufactured and finished, which show that it's not a high end product in the way, for example, as a, a 500 euro organizer would be. So for example, uh, if we go to this, if we go to this slit, which is made for the memo, you'll see that you have a circle cut out at the end. That's to stop it ripping. If you go to this end, the circle hasn't been, the circle's been cut, but the leather hasn't gone. And the slit goes on beyond where the circle finishes, which means that if I pull this, I will simply rip the, the leather. Um, again, if you look, and you probably can't see this, but you'll see that the um, ring defender has been positioned halfway between um, the zip at the bottom, but the top of the product at the top. So the, uh, the rings that are situated in the middle, the defender has been situated further up because of the position of the zip. That means it's no longer aligned exactly to the, um, to the ring. So this really should be brought down half a centimeter. Equally, the memo slit is not aligned with either. This I get because if you pull this up too high, you have difficulty in getting your memo block in because of the position of the zip. This, this could move up, however, this could move up half a centimeter. This could move down half a centimeter. Then everything's aligned. It's just a little bit of a, not quite as it should be. We've got things like slightly wonky stitching. If you look at this, you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. I noticed that, that for example, that the stitching here comes out a bit and then goes back in again. Uh, again, not the end of the world, but it's just something that uh, just shows that the, the, the finished quality is not brilliant and, and things like this corner, it could have been done a little bit neater. And then this one, if you look at the pen loops, which are fine, this pen loop you'll see here, uh, when they've stitched it, they've left quite a lot here um, as extra which is just, they, they should have cut this off. This shouldn't, they, they shouldn't have needed this. This can also lose half a centimeter. Yeah. So that's, that's it basically. Um, I hope you found this useful. It's not a bad product at all. It needs, um, it's for its price, it's fine. Uh, there are just little things that you might like to be aware of when purchasing not just this product, but other similar products so that uh, you can make a, a good decision because these are not cheap things and um, uh, you know it helps to 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 get experience in some of these um, issues beforehand rather than finding out at your cost after you've purchased something that it's not quite as, as you wanted it to be so um, as I said I hope you find this useful and uh, if you have any comments just drop them into the comments below. Cheers, take care.